Hello everybody. Right, I'm just going to do a, a short video on uh, making a steam raising blower. A uh, low cost steam raising blower on, on a, budget, a budget build. Um, I've just st broke off my steam loco that I'm making to make this. Now, I, this one here you can see in front of you is, is one that a friend of mine made. Well, it's more than a friend. I, I was his apprentice back in the day, many years ago. He's nearly 90 now and uh, he made this one and I've borrowed it off him to copy so I'm not taking any credit for this one. I'm just uh, going to show you and explain to you how it's been made. Uh, I'll just show it you running. Right, so you can see it's got a really good suction and a really good blowing action. And all it is is a, a 12 volt motor with a body part in the middle to attach it to the motor. An impeller with uh, two adapter plates to, f to fit the impeller into. And a, an, adapter, an adapter for you to fit in your chimney. Piece of wire and a switch. And two crocodile clips to... to to clip it to your battery. Right, so what you need then to make this is a cheap 12 volt motor off of eBay <clears throat> and this one cost me I think it was four pound I think they vary between three and nine pound and this one actually cost me four so a four pound motor and then we'll start logically and work front motor the motors have only got a small shaft on, so you've got to make an adapter to fit on the, to the motor. And I've made this adapter for the impeller to fit to. And it's got a 7 8 uh, shaft on it, and the diameter is half inch to fit on the, onto the motor to give me enough to get a grub screw in to hold it to the motor. And on that shaft, I've put a flat on for the grub screw of the impeller to fit and that shaft is a quarter diameter. Right, so you've then got to get make the atta attaching bit to fit to your motor which is this piece. So you need a bit of aluminium for that, you don't have to use aluminium, you can use whatever you want, brass, steel, stainless, whatever. But to get this piece and the adapter for the chimney I've used a piece of aluminium 2 inch diameter by 3 inch long it was and that's what's left right so this adapter to fit to the motor which is here the adapter is inch and 3 eighth diameter and it's 1 inch long and then it's I've bored it out it's three quarter of an inch bore there to fit over the motor shaft adapter with two holes in it to locate on those M3 screw holes that's already in the motor. So that's going to fit on there with two screws. Now to get to fit them screws you've got to Put a boring bar in with a cranked point, uh, a crank tip on it, cutting tip, to cut this body out in the middle. So you want to leave a, about an eighth on each end, and cut all the middle out till it's an eighth thick wall thickness, right? And then in that wall thickness, you can put eight holes all the way around equally spaced. That serves two purposes. It serves one purpose to get to your grub screws to your shaft on your motor if you need to and also just to let the air, the air in and to, to balance the air. Well I've put slots in mine. I've put eight slots. So when you've got this you're going to put a tool in similar shape to that into that bore and then just 
bore this centre piece out and leave an eighth on each side and then on the other end I've just put an hole through half inch diameter that's where my shaft of my motor's coming through look so that's not critical as long as it clears that motor and then you want two holes putting in the other end so you can get to your screws to fasten it to your motor like so so you now have got, you've now got access to them two screw holes okay then in this other side of the body you want three equally spaced holes and I've put them on a PCD of 7 8 diameter that's not critical and that's to a fit the backing plate of the impeller onto onto them three holes like that there and I've used 4BA countersunk head screws to fit in them to attach it to that body like that right coming on to these uh, impeller body pieces now you want two two plates cut in at a diameter of four and a quarter both the same size and in the outside of that of them plates on a PCD of I've used three and three quarter you want four holes because you're going to attach these two plates together using four spacers like that and I've just used copper pipe with four BA screws and they're inch and a quarter long so that's these here that's to attach them two plates together four four BA screws with a spacer in the middle equally spaced now my friends use brass I'll tell you the thickness just in case you need to it's uh, 16th brass I didn't have I didn't have no 16th brass so I've used a piece two pieces of aluminium off this bit of plate I had it's a bit thicker mine's 80 thousandths which is one and a half mil not critical as long as they're just strong enough to support the impeller like that right so we've covered the motor we've covered the attachment for the motor we've covered the back plate for the impeller so that's that done then on the other side of the plate you've got to put your chimney adapter and make it out this other piece of this aluminium from that piece of aluminium that I mentioned and it's two inch diameter and I've done it inch and an eighth long I've put an eighth flange on on the back of the taper one eighth flange and my taper is to suit my loco you'll have to do it to suit whatever loco you've got but the back of my the 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 bit the large side of the taper is inch and five eighths the smallest side of my taper is inch and seven sixteenths roughly then it was boring out for the fumes from the chimney to go up from the for the draft from the chimney and I've done it an inch and three sixteenths diameter that's not critical inch and three sixteenths diameter so when that's in the chimney you fume you all your fumes and your your drafts coming through that right and I've attached that chimney adapter to this back backing plate using three 6BA screws on a PCD inch and seven eighths and basically you just need to get get yours measurements just to bring your screws into the center of the flange that you've made your adapt on your adapter if that makes sense like so 
counter sunk head right that's that now we'll come on to the impeller the impeller is made from a piece of 20 gauge brass I think it is uh, approximately a 30 second thick so I've cut a circle out out that brass and it's um, three and a quarter approximately I've put a three-eighth hole in the centre of the plate for this little boss that I've silver, not silver soldered, I've soft soldered it in. So I've made a little brass boss with a three-eighth spigot on and it just protrudes through the back of the plate for the solder to run round. And it's half inch long, no it's not, seven sixteenths long half inch diameter with a quarter hole for the motor shaft with a 3 16th grub screw 3 16th BSW grub screw, I've, grub screw I've put in to attach it to the motor like so other way right so once you've got that cut out got your boss soldered in got your grub screw in you want to mark this plate off then into six segments. Scribe six lines on equidistance. That's for your blades to fit to, for your marking for your blades. Now then, we'll come to the blades. Uh, my friend, my friends used twenty thousandths thick brass plate for that. I don't know what gauge that is. I can't remember. But I didn't have any. So I've used some aluminium, which is a little bit thicker, at 40 thousandths, 38 thousandths actually. And I've cut six of these off. They're inch and a quarter one way, by inch and five sixteenths the other way. And on the inch and a quarter length, I've divided that up and, and scribed a line across, half inch in, so that's leaving half inch on one side and three quarter inch on the other. Then I've bent those over like so. And that's going to be my blades of my impeller. And I've already got one fitted look. So them blades are going to fit on them lines with a long side facing upwards. And because they overlap slightly you've just got to cut the edges off at an angle on both sides. And the inside angle is so it just misses the next impeller that you're going to fit. And the outside angle is just to follow the radius of the backing plate of the impeller. Like that. So each impeller is going to fit on one of them lines. And I'm using 332nd rivets, dome dead rivets. And I'm going to work my way around that like that. And the, the rivets are just flush on the other side. So, where are we up to? We've, we've got the motor, we've done the shaft on the motor, we've done the body at, to attach it to the motor. We've got the backing plate to attach to the body. Then the impeller's going to fit. And then the backing plate with the chimney adapter is going to fit onto that using these spacers out of some copper pipe to fit a 4BA screw through like that. That's them. Right, so. When you're putting your impellers on, I've just overlooked that, make sure that you start, your grub screw wants to be in the centre of one of them segments, so you can get your screwdriver in, not your screwdriver, your, your allen key, so they can get your allen key in, like so. To tighten it onto the shaft so you don't want your allen key in the same position as your impeller do you? Right, I think that's it. 
then you just need a, a switch any, any kind of on off switch two crocodile clips and some wire and that's it so just to recap you've got your motor you've got your shaft adapter on, on end of your motor you've got your body to attach to your motor you've got your out your outer and your, your inner and your outer impeller body you've got your impeller with its blades on you've got your spacers to a, to clamp it together and you've got your chimney adapter bolted to your plate and that's it Right, that's it then. I think I think I've covered everything. Uh, any questions? I'll I'll be quite happy to answer. Anyway, uh, low cost, low budget steam raising blower. I want to get back into my steam loco now. So thanks for watching and bye for now then.